So today I'm gonna show you guys how to make a badass New York cheesecake because I like cheesecake and I've been craving it for a while and I had a day off yesterday so I was like you know what I'm gonna make a cheesecake and I'm gonna share with you guys and this was one of the cakes that I used to make so often that I knew the recipe at the top of my head that I didn't even need to look at it but it's been a while and it's also one of the cakes that my friends would always ask me to make for them so I guess it's, it's pretty good. <laughs> so the first thing we're gonna wanna do is preheat your oven to 130 degrees, and then we can move on to making the crust of the cake. I've just used some digestive biscuits for this, and I popped them into a Ziploc bag, and I've just bashed the shit out of them until they're nice and fine. So what you wanna end up with is a nice, fine, sandy texture. <laughs> just as long as there's no huge chunks, you just want them to resemble fine sand. If you have a food processor, you can always chuck all the biscuits in there and give it a whiz until you get the same thing as well. Once you've done that, you can grab a saucepan and melt the butter. And then chuck in all the crushed biscuits and give it a mix until everything is nice and coated. And then we can go ahead and grab your baking tin so you need a cake tin that has the spring form so it can actually open because if you don't, you can't get your cake out <laughs> after that. So make sure you use the spring form pan. So just pour all your mixture in there. And I've just used a ceramic spoon. You know those Chinese soup spoons? <laughs> I think that works really well for this. What you want to do is just press the mixture against the tin to create the crust. So you need to create a nice base and the crust around it. This might take a little bit of time, but just be patient. And then we can pop that into the fridge to let it set while we work on the actual cheesecake. You need to separate your egg whites from your egg yolks first. So I've just popped all the yolks into the bowl that I will be mixing with. And with the egg whites, I put it into a larger bowl because we're going to work on that later. And into that bowl of egg yolks, you're going to add your cream cheese, the sugar. Now don't add all of it. Leave like a quarter of a cup behind. You don't have to be specific with this, you just got to leave a little bit behind because we're going to need that later with the egg whites. This is confusing. Okay, just watch. <laughs> Pretty much just add the sugar but not all of it and leave some for later. And then add in the corn flour and then we can go ahead and mix it until it's all combined and you get a smooth mixture. So I've just used a stand mixer. If you have an electric mixer, that would be good too. <laughs> Also another tip is to make sure everything is at room temperature because it makes it a lot easier for them to just mix together and be friends. <laughs> now once all of that is nice and smooth, we can go ahead and add our vanilla extract, some freshly squeezed lemon juice, and the sour cream. And then you can go ahead and mix it until it's just combined and we're gonna leave it aside for now and get back to those egg whites that we separated earlier. So with an electric whisk, I'm just whisking the eggs and also adding the sugar that we reserved from before into it because this helps keep its airiness. <laughs> so you just wanna whisk it and add the sugar gradually until you have nice soft peaks. And then we're gonna bring back that cheesecake mixture and I'm adding half of the egg whites into that mixture. And this time you just wanna fold gently with a large spatula and just incorporate that egg whites into the cheesecake mixture without over mixing it because if you over mix it then the air that was in the egg whites would deflate and so you won't end up with a really fluffy cheesecake. And then I've gone in with the second part of the egg whites and just fold it gently until you don't see any more of the white bits from the egg whites. And then we're gonna pour the whole lot into our cake tin with the crust that we made earlier. And with your spatula, just spread the filling until it's smooth. And that's just gonna go into the oven for an hour and 15 minutes. I know it feels like a long time, but because it's cooking at such a low temperature, it's gonna cook low and slow, so it needs at one hour and 15 minutes. So 
once the time is up, you can't take it out of the oven immediately because the temperature difference is going to make the cake sort of sink and also crack. So what you want to do is just leave the door ajar, like switch off the oven, obviously it's not on anymore. Just leave the door ajar so the cake can cool and have its own time in the oven, okay? <laughs> so just leave it for about an hour or so and then you can take it out of the oven and just let it cool on the bench. On the bench just let it cool like on your kitchen counter and then the thing that sucks the most is you can't eat it yet so with the cheesecake I feel like you need so much patience when you make this cheesecake because even though you've baked it you can't eat it immediately even though it's sort of cooled down you need to put it in the fridge to let it set overnight and then you can eat it. <laughs> if you're planning on making this cheesecake for a party or something, just make sure you set the day before because it will not be ready by the end of the day because it still needs time to set. On the next day, once it's all set, then you can eat it. So a quick tip for cutting cheesecake is you gotta heat up the knife. So I've just got um, the stove over here and I'm just heating up the knife so that you can get a really clean cut when you cut into the cheesecake. So after each cut, you just want to wipe your knife so you make sure it's clean and then you repeat the same thing where you heat up your knife. You only need to heat it up for 5 seconds or so so that it's just warm enough. Ta-da! You have your cheesecake. I've already eaten a slice today but it's okay, I don't mind. It's so good. So here's what the cheesecake looks like. It's nice and fluffy but it's also really rich at the same time. But if you like cheesecake, I'm pretty sure you're gonna like this. Do you guys like the cheesecake crust or do you chuck it? Because I know some people don't like it. Like my brother always chucks it away. Why would you do that? It's so good! <laughs> if you love cheesecake, definitely give this recipe a go because it is so so good. Um, but I'm gonna keep eating my cheesecake. Thank you so much for watching and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Cake on my face. <laughs>